Okay, so the night time now. That's lovely. And, sk and skulls are appearing on the ground. That's what I want. Skulls. It's night time. Middle of the woods. Okay. Hello, guys, and welcome to my let's play of The Colossus is Coming. Uh, this is a free game on Steam that I picked up out of nowhere. Uh, I thought it looked interesting, and people said it was a short little fun game in the review section, so I decided to play it. Then again, I'm going to play every single game, it's whether or not it's good, so... Oh well. well, but it seemed interesting, and uh, I'm, I'm very debating whether or not I should have film grain on, because like, film grain does seem to add like a little cool aesthetic uh, into this specific game with the black and white. But I think I'm going to keep it off because I'm not a big fan of those effects, so let's begin. Immediately, it adds his own film grain on my screen. <laughs> okay, sure, if that's what you want. Based on the music of Auric Echoes, which is uh, something I'd know nothing about. Oh, I'm in. Oh boy, the leg. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's all good. It's all fine. Plus, is coming interactive expansion to the Auric Echoes album. Is this like a music thing? This is the cassette tape, right? I don't know if I like this because it seems like it wants me to have uh, film grain on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep film grain on because it's black and white. It, it adds to the aesthetic cassette tape. I want to click the mouse button. Hello there, naked statue. Cassette player. Can I, can I interact with you? Wow, that sounds lovely. Inserting cassette tape, yes. It's coming. Play the tapes. Uh, what what's coming and where are the tapes? Oh, here's a no. Wait, where did the chromophone go? What tapes? I don't see any flipping tapes anywhere. Do you have a tape in your hand? No. Can I get out of here? Am I, am I stuck in here? Lay the tapes. I'm clearly missing something. Maybe there's like a tape hidden somewhere. Like maybe there are like four more tapes hidden somewhere. Follow the light. That's what I've learned in video games. Just follow the light. Another tape. Let's go do it. Come on. But in the cassette tape thingy. Wait, where did you come from? Oh, you moved. So, yeah, I was, I was going for a walk the other day. It, it was nice out. It was a little bit cold, but not too bad. But on the walk, I came across to the figure. Maybe 20 feet away from me. Uh, he, he was really skinny, slender, just super. He was wearing all black, his eyes were kind of uh, sunken in, and he seemed like he was hurt. Not, not like a physical hurt, but a torment. He was all hunched over looking at the ground. I yelled out uh, to see if I can get his name, see if he was feeling okay, uh, but th there was no response. He didn't say anything, he didn't actually really acknowledge I was there, he just kept staring at the ground. So we stood there about 20 feet between us, seemed like a while. Sure, I don't remember much. Uh... Then the weird thing happened. Uh, he he just started walking towards me. There was no provocation. He just started walking quite slowly. Uh, that especially for a man of his stature. He, he didn't look up to see me. He didn't make eye contact. He just kept walking. I got this strange sense of unease. Dread. And I'm not sure why, but I just turned around and started to run. I, I knew I had to get as far away from whatever this person was as I could. So I started running, and I felt like I was running fast. So I turned around to look at the figure, expecting to see something chasing me. But what I 
I saw was just him walking. He didn't match my pace. He wasn't running after me. He just looked at the ground and kept walking. So I looked away. And I kept running. Oh god, that's so loud. Holy crap. Oh, my ears just died there. Oh my goodness, that's so loud. Please don't ever do that. Oh my god, that was loud. Look for a cassette tape again. Oh, hello there, gramophone. Wait, can I, can I please go past some of these things? Okay, hello there, lady. Can I play that again? Oh, lovely music. I, I love that music. It's great music, you know. Not like I expect a guy to slowly walk towards me at all any time soon. Okay, great. What are we gonna know now? More loud sounds, probably. I, I don't exactly remember how long I'd run for, but it, it had to have been at least a half hour. I, I was really tired. I had to stop, and I came upon an old man, and he was sitting on a bench. He looked really peaceful and content. I asked him if I could join him, sitting down, and he said yeah. So I sat next oh, to him. Oh, this bench. Okay. And he asked me why I was running, and I told him, and he said that that was a really silly reason to be running. I didn't really say anything back. I just kind of looked onward. He turned and told me not to be scared. And I told him I'd do my best. We sat there for a while without talking. Eventually, he says, Hey, kid. And I say, yeah. He says, do you see that over there? And he raises his arm and points out a finger at nothing. And I say, no, I, I don't. He relaxes and says, oh, never mind then. I just put my head down confused. I, I sat there and thought for a minute or two. But then I realized, oh, I, I never actually got the guy's name. Uh, so I looked up and started to ask. Uh, but, I mean, like, just like that, the man was gone. I, I didn't know what to do at that point. So I just got up and started running again. Okay, it's only night time now. That's lovely. And, sk and skulls are appearing on the ground. That's what I want. Skulls. It's night time. Middle of the woods. Okay. That is what I want. That is totally what I want. Who wouldn't want that? So I, I biked over here, I'm guessing. Now, where is the last tape? Or the, the second last one or whatever last one. Damn, the forest is really alive at night, huh? Where would I be? Where would it be? Where is it? Give it to me. Um, the statues might have it in their hands. It could be very cliche, right? You don't have one in your hand? No. Get the tapes, they said. Get the tapes. Okay, fine. I'll get the freaking tapes, dude. I'll get the tapes. Uh, if I can ever find it. Do you have one in you? No, you don't have one in there. Um, do you have one near you? No. Oh, there's one right here. Okay. Lovely. Do you see a tall figure anywhere? Just started walking towards me or anything? No? Okay, sure. Let's put this in. Uh, at a point, I just... It, it felt like I was running with more force than I ever have in my entire life. My, my stomach burned. My chest felt like a drum. With every single step, I was packing down the dirt and throwing clouds behind me. I, I just couldn't stop them. Momentum was too much, but no matter how fast I ran, it was always just walking. Anytime I turned my head, anytime I closed my eyes, he, he somehow gained ground. No matter what kind of lead I had or thought I had, whenever I looked back, he was right there. So I just stopped looking, and I kept running. I had to keep moving. One foot. One foot and then the other, huh? Do I see him anywhere? Like, I keep expecting to see, like, a long, tall figure looking down, moving towards me. But I never see him. Another tape right here, huh? Oh, no. Okay. You know, you do you. Screw you. I didn't like light anyway. You know, I prefer the darkness. It's here. Oh, God. More skulls. Stared straight up. And then I turned around. The, the 
figure was still there, about 20 feet from me. He was still walking really slowly towards me, uh, but I couldn't really bring myself to run anymore. I just stared at him as he walked up to me. But about three feet away from me, he just stopped. Uh, we made eye contact for a moment or two. Uh, his face was a lot softer than I remember. After that moment or two, the figure squatted down. He sat on the ground, his long legs crisscrossed. I had followed him. We just sat there, looking at each other. And then he looked at me, and he said, uh, You know you don't have to run from me, right? His voice was a lot lighter than I expected. And I said, yeah. He asked me if I was scared, uh, and I said, yeah. And then he asked me why. Uh, I thought for a moment. I just told him I didn't know. He told me that was okay, but that I really didn't have to be worried. And I said, I know. He was really nice to talk to. We sat there for another moment or two, silent. Then the figure stood up, and I followed right behind him. He told me he'd be back to see me again someday, and I asked him when. He stopped, thought for a second, uh, before turning back and simply responding with, Someday. I said, okay. Then he turned to leave, uh, but before he could, I stopped him. Excuse me, sir, I asked. Uh, I never did quite catch your name. He turned back to me, and then he told me. Then he carried on his way. I watched his tall frame disappear into the distance until I was there all alone. I stood for a moment to take in the cold air. Then I figured I didn't really have much to be out there for anymore. Uh, so I turned around, and I walked home. Five out of five? What now? Okay, so... There's this weird figure after this guy. Uh, seems to be tall, looking down at the ground. Looked intimidating, so we would run from him. But overall, he wasn't really scary. It might have been death, right? It could have been death. Oh god, what is that sound? I don't see anything. What is with the freaking audio? Oh god, what? My freaking eardrums are breaking. What the heck are you doing, dude? Oh god. So loud. You guys probably hit through my headset. So freaking loud. Holy crap, that was loud. The Colossus is coming. Okay, so oh, so he was the Colossus. I see. You were distracted by two out of three gramophones. I saw the other one. You were forced to accept the Colossus. Hello, I just wanted this quick message to thank you for taking the time to engage with this short experience I've made. I do really appreciate you being here to support my artistic efforts. I continue to evolve in both the game developer and a musician. I really don't think I would be here making these things if uh, the things I am with you all being here. If you weren't aware, I am both the creator of uh, games as well as musical artists behind Auric Icos. This actually isn't a standalone game, rather than an interactive exchange of my latest album entitled The Colossus is Coming. It's an art rock experimental rock album I've been writing and recording ever over the past couple of years, and its project has truly means the world to me. It has a lot of influences ranging for electronic, uh, Radiohead, Bjork, available on every major streaming service. Very cool. Go check him out if you really want to. Uh, I would also like to ask you to possibly donate to me and my studio. I would if I had money to donate. <laughs> This way, I can continue to make the art that I love while going through college on and onward. Any amount of money or any number of music team streams are more helpful than you could ever imagine. With all that said, thank you again for being here and making my life just a bit better for it. You're all amazing. Thank you, Connor Rush. Uh, thank you. Again, I would donate if I had money for it. Uh, but as a content creator myself, I can't. 
<laughs> I don't get any money. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We should probably get a part-time job soon or whatever, but uh, we'll see. So I have a bit of money left over. I'll take it when it comes. But uh, yeah, I'm going to continue and see what this does to me. I'm not going to listen because I'm afraid it's copyrighted. It probably is, right? This is his album. All right, but uh, but yeah, that's the Colossus is coming. Uh, a small little short, short horror experience. I do think, again, like with a lot of these short games, I think they could have done a lot more with it. Like if you really want to do like a game called The Colossus is Coming, you could like show a Colossus. But the whole story element was very cool, the tapes. But you should maybe have made the area a bit bigger. A few like things you see in the distance or maybe a big shadow and then it suddenly disappears or the old man you see out in the, the forest and it disappears. I did just just a bigger play area and a little bit more stuff to see that scares you. Not, st not stuff that jumps up in your face like a jump scare, but more like you just see things in the environment that's like, why is that there? That feels so weird. Like the bike and the skulls suddenly appearing out of nowhere and the whole surrounding by rocks and, and all that stuff was very cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, I really, really did. And uh, and I think this could have been a bigger game that you might have been able to take money from. Because uh, you have all the tools right now. You have the uh, the player character movement. You have the area. You, have, you could have expanded the forest a little bit. A little bit like, what is that game called? The Blair Witch? You could have done a little bit like the Blair Witch. Just with tapes and, um, and a colossus that's somehow following you. So if you look back at where you were before a part of the map, maybe the trees would fall. And you're kind of trying to escape. Uh, you got multiple endings, like going towards the Colossus or going away from the Colossus, and then, you know, see what happens there. I think that could have been a cool little game, but uh, it didn't, didn't seem really seem to go in that direction. Although, I do think it could have been cool if it did. Uh, but this is also a very cool little free game. Again, it's free. Can't complain about the price. Can't complain about the content. I'm just saying what I think could improve the game. Yeah, uh, consider supporting this guy. Seems like he really loves to make his music if he made a game for it. Like, that, that's an extra step in the music industry, making a game specifically for your music. That's not really about your music, but more like the same title to support your music. It is kind of cool. Kind of cool. I mean, it might be somewhat about the music. Uh, it could be like his lyrics are like... There was an old man I was chased. Didn't matter if I looked back, he was always right there. Like that, that kind of stuff. Even though it's like a rock, you know. It, but but maybe that's his lyrics that he's making into a story. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, that was the Colossus is coming. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, consider uh, liking and subscribing. If you have anything to add to this video, I. Uh, want to send me a message saying you did a great job or you want to say I suck you can do so down in the comment section below uh, but yeah besides that I have nothing more to say other than um, as always you guys stay awesome <laughs>